If it seems to you that we haven't had very many tornadoes this spring, you're right. We're at a near record low pace. Here's the tally for March and April. 90 tornadoes preliminarily, only 27% of the average of 332. That's the second lowest percentage since 1950. The lowest was in 1987, and we're pretty close to that. In May, we've had in the first five days just one tornado, so that's 98% below average. The average would have been 48. That one tornado is the fewest since 1970 when the first tornado didn't occur until May 8th. Now, this May, it has been slow-moving upper lows that have mostly produced heavy rain, not really tornadoes. They're not good tornado producers, and that pattern may continue. And as such, we may have uh, a record March, April, May period. We would need 176 more tornadoes this month not to have the lowest percentage tornadoes of those months. So let's hope that record low pace continues. It's a big difference from 2011 when we had a lot of tornadoes in the March and April time frame. The jet stream far enough north that the low pressures went right across the Gulf Coast states. This year, the jet stream is farther south and that Northwest to southeast flow has meant that a lot of cold air has invaded. In 2011, we had a lot of warm, above average temperatures in the south half of the country, fueling the heat, the instability for the thunderstorms. In 2013, March and April, we had a lot of those snowstorms that after them, it drove cold air down into the southeast, the Gulf Coast states, where a lot of times that would be where the tornadoes have occurred. So for one reason or other, lately it's been slow moving cutoff lows. Earlier, it was winter weather. We've been a at a pretty quiet tornado pace. Let's hope it continues.